So what I have here is a bunch of it's blue wire. I don't know what it is. Um, the most difficult part seems to be adjusting the right height for this kind of wire. Uh, from my experience, the thicker the wire is, the easier it is to pull it through. Um, so you just pretty much find whatever, whichever one should fit in, fit in snug. You can see it's poking out the other side, right there. What I like to do is I take a, some pliers, latch on, so I'll grab the wire. As you can see, it's fairly easy. You can see how it's already stripped at the top. And now you have your two separations, you have your insulated copper, and you just pull it straight through like that. Um, see how easy that is? What I like to do is, you know how, how it's getting very lengthy? I might snip it right there, keeping it, you know, still in the vise and still in the, the wire stripper. Throw my insulation over there, and then I have my bucket for... I bear bright. The yard by me pays me the same price for braided wire as opposed to just a solid wire, so make sure that's true for yourself as well. Otherwise, you're going to have to separate the wire a little bit more. As you can see, I still left it, um, still left the length here, so I can still pull it. But considering how much more wire I have, and rather than you know trying to you know cutting it here and then stripping it again and then peeling it again, I'm going to just keep pulling it through, and I'm going to still use that same split. Rather than cutting it maybe here, stripping the wire, then putting it back in, trying to find the same groove, it, it's much easier this way. Then you pretty much just use the same split. It's that simple. You know, and then I'll, I'll come back and cut it again. my garbage and then my bear bright and I'll just finish it off and then you just you know you can Easily split it, easily strip it, just like that, and then you're done. You got your two piles. Here's your bare bright. Here's just your insulation. You know, I do think it's a great tool. Um, I think a lot of people are scared of the price point of it. Hopefully, you know, you can probably get it used or at a price that's a discount. I price matched mine, so I got it a little bit cheaper than what the retail price is. If you're new to scrapping, if you're new to stripping wire, you know, if you're not very handy or very creative in doing projects, I know for myself, I was not able to make a wire stripper with a razor blade work or with a wood block or all these different, you know, different ways that I saw on YouTube to figure out you know how to strip wire so I, I did purchase this if you're new to wire stripping if you need a tool like this pick it up you know you're not going to regret it it's going to save you a lot of time it's going to save you a lot of headaches um, it's it just a great tool if you're new to the channel check out my other videos I do come off a lot of scrapping videos if you're into that kind of stuff but as always keep living the dream have a great day peace